Greetings, minions. Pidlin Z here, and I'm so, so happy to be here. I'm happy to see you guys. I hope you're happy to see me. And I'm really super stoked that we passed 300 subscribers. We're egging up on the 400 subscribers as of the time I'm filming this, and it's just, it's amazing. And I'm so truly touched. And as you know, of course, the uh, contest that I held, um, you guys, all you had to do was to subscribe to my channel and to comment below the 300 subscribers blog. The thing is, I didn't expect you guys to come out with all of these reasons that you love me and that you love my books. And I want you to know that meant the world to me to see those things because to know that I was such a huge force in so many lives, it's just, it's incredible. So thank you. Thank you so much for everything you said because it's stuff like that that keeps me going. Now, I know the winner of the contest. I know the name of the winner, but you don't know the name of the winner, and I'm going to tell it to you. Not now, but at the end of this video. First off, we have some questions to get to. You guys asked a whole bunch of really great questions. I hope you'll keep asking them, no matter what they're about, really. I mean, pretty much I'm going to answer them. If I don't want to answer them, I just won't, or I'll pick them at random, which I tend to do. I tend to pick them at random. Speaking of which, the winner of the contest was chosen by random number generator, so everybody had an equal chance to win. Now, let's get to your questions. April Schaefer asks, what's your favorite candy bar? My favorite candy bar, honestly, is probably the nearest one to me, except if it has coconut in it, because coconut. Nuclear Nugget asks, when can we expect a title or a short synopsis? And they're talking about the new book. I'm so, so excited about this book. I've told you guys before and I've hinted at it. It's wonderful. I now have the absolute final edits sitting on my computer and I get to go through them and it's the last tiny little threads I'm tying up and I'm so in love with this book. I wish I could tell you more, but the book is really complex. So even if I could tell you, I don't really know what to tell you. When I get the go ahead to release the title and the cover and the short synopsis, I absolutely will. You guys are going to hear it first on my channel. So if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, please subscribe and ring that bell so you get a notification. So you will be among the first to see the cover, to hear the title, to read the synopsis. It's so, so exciting. But just hang on there just a little bit longer. and It should be soon. I, if I had to wager a guess, maybe a couple months. Rainy's Corner asks, do you have any tips on weaknesses in writing? Now, for me, I think that I can identify my strengths very easily. I feel like my strengths are really when it comes to dialogue. And I think that the reason, if you struggle with dialogue, the reason that my dialogue tends to be so strong, and I've been told that several times, and if you disagree, that's okay. But the reason I tend to be stronger in dialogue is because I write what's called a dialogue spine. Basically, it's just, just writing dialogue. Just write the dialogue without any action, without any description, just what the people are saying. And then I go back and fill in the action and the description based on pretty much what was in my head when I was writing the dialogue. That way it, it flows more like a conversation to me. So I've found that that's really great. But as far as weaknesses go, um, there are many different kinds of weaknesses that people have. Uh, for me, I feel like my biggest weakness is uh, writing action. And a lot of people have commented, you know, that writing action, my, my action writing has been great, but I feel like it's a huge, huge uphill battle to get there. Uh, a friend of mine taught me a lot about what it is to fight and what it is to, to feel injured and things like that. But something I found enormously helpful is that if I get the general idea of what I want done, like I want character A to kill character B, but all they have is like a sharp stick with marshmallows on it then I will generally say, when my son was living at home, I would generally say to my husband, hey, come over here and kill our son. And here's your weapon. It's sharp stick with marshmallows on it. The good thing is my family's super supportive, so nobody ever questions why there's a sharp stick, why it has to have marshmallows on it when you're trying to kill somebody with it. But they will jump in and kind of think of the action along with me and reenact something. And if I like something, then I totally take it. But the good thing is it gives me that feeling. It gives me a base to move forward and create my action scenes. So I would say if you have a weakness in writing, find someone to bounce it off of. Like if you're, if you're really just not getting that dialogue, ask a friend. I mean, you know, if you LARP at all, it's really cool because you can be your character and ask one of your LARPing friends to be the character they're talking to. Have a conversation. You don't have to take everything they say, but you can take, you can kind of skim off the top. You can take the feeling of it. 
So that's an idea. But no matter what your weaknesses are, remember that if a muscle is weak, you work it and work it and work it until it's strong. Writing's the same way. Keep writing, keep fighting. Read and study the favorite authors that you have and try to figure out exactly what made you laugh in the scene, what made you cry, what made you angry. And really that's gonna help an enormous amount. Brooke J asks, if you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go and why? To be honest, I would go to Castaway Key. If you don't know where Castaway Key is, it's in the Bahamas, it's this lovely little island, and Disney owns it, and you get there via Disney cruise ship. So pretty much I'm saying, I want to go on a cruise. I need sunshine and palm trees, and a little drink in my hand with a tiny little umbrella. I need a hammock. I need Mickey. Devil's Blessing asks, what point of view is most difficult for you to write in? For me, I've found that first person is really difficult. A lot of people love writing in first because they feel very connected to the characters that way. I don't feel connected to the characters that way. I find it a real struggle. For me, I somehow I feel closer when I'm writing third person. I don't know why that is. It just is. So if you're a writer, whatever point of view you're really drawn to and excited about writing, just go from that point of view and see if it works. I have written books, I have written stories in first person before, but I enjoyed them less than writing in third person. Brittany Lane wants to know if I, between projects, if I free write or if I start planning the next book. Generally, if I'm between projects, if I have finished something, generally I will pick up an idea from my notebook that contains the shiny ideas we discussed. And I will pick something from there that's really been eating at me and I will work on that. That being said, it is very difficult to write between projects because I'm always waiting on something. I'm always waiting on the edits or I'm waiting on something else. And it, it can be really difficult to, to pick that up and just start writing, but I try to force myself to do that. And generally I'm, I'm successful at it. So I usually work on the next project because I want to pick something as far as my career goes that's going to push me forward and also something that really makes me hungry to write. So for instance, uh, waiting on the edits that I've been waiting on for this book in fall 2020, I've actually been working on two different projects. I've created two different proposals for those things, but I have nothing else really to work on. So now I'm just kind of in this weird place where I'm just kind of hanging out and everything. So uh, I'll get back to the page soon, don't worry. But yeah, pretty much I always move on to the next thing because I want to keep giving you guys good stories. I wanna keep giving you something from me to read and that requires almost endless work. And I love it, don't get me wrong, I completely love it. It can be a little frustrating when you can't really work on something because you can't think of something to work on, but that's okay because that's time for self-care and self-care is important. M Handy asks, do you have any writing puns or jokes that you'd like to share? Of course. How many mystery writers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Two. One to screw it in, and a second one to give it that unexpected twist at the end. That's it for questions today. I know I didn't get to all of the questions, but I definitely wanted to tackle at least a few of them because I know you guys love asking them and I love answering them. Things have been a little bit chaotic around here, but they're all about to smooth out soon. So please keep submitting questions and please submit ideas for what you wanna hear about on the blog. What do you guys wanna talk about? Cause I'm down, you know? Now it's time to announce the winner of my latest contest. The winner of this contest is going to have a character named after them in a future book of mine, not the fall 2020 book, in the very next book. And it's so, so exciting. I'm thrilled for them. I hope that you guys are thrilled for them too. As a minion horde, you may be disappointed if you don't win, but please applaud the winner and just know that other contests are coming and that you can enter and you could win too. So please, please keep going because this is so much fun. I'm really enjoying the response that you guys have had to this contest, the contest in which I'm going to answer your question now. The winner of my contest is really kind of a cool person. Their comment was just awesome and they seemed amazing and I'm really looking forward to getting to know them better and uh, developing that character, you know, that person whose name is written down in front of me and I chose via random number generator and I'm really excited to announce their name. Are you excited to hear it? I am so excited to say it to you. It's amazing. 
I mean, it's like we're, you know, like right there. Like I have the name. You want the name. It was meant to be. Anywho, um, name. What was that name? Get over there! Oh yeah, the winner is Sean Legends. Congratulations, Sean. I'm so, so excited for you and so happy for you. And I promise that it is going to be worth the win. So everybody congratulate Sean because this is fantastic and I'm so, so thrilled for them and thrilled for you guys and excited because there's some really major contests coming up. So please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comment, and ring that bell for notifications because this, my minions, is only the beginning. Don't forget, Pibloomzy loves you. <laughs>